Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have traveled to the Kentucky Speedway for the Kentucky 80. This is going to be race number 13 in the More Freedom Series Season 3, or Season 4. Uh, and with only just a handful of races left in the first half, let's go through your current points. Your points leader is the 544, Frederick Winklevom. Second will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Fourth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Fifth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Sixth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Seventh will be the 49 of Jetman. Eighth will be the 300 of Resemble. Ninth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 95 of Zed Brenna. Let's check out your team and chassis standings. MBR leads the way with Douche Motorsports second, Ace of the Zed Motorsports third, Drop Bear Racing Team fourth, and running out the top five, Amish Buggy Racing. Chassis standings look like this, Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all your points here for this More Freedom Series race at Kentucky, the Kentucky 80. The crowd is uh, probably going to be filing in, so I think it's about time, and let's go racing. Let's go through your starting top 10 today for this Kentucky 80. Starting on the pole will be the 96 of Nico, and on his outside, the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Starting third will be the double zero of Mudbone, and on his outside, the 51 of AJM. Starting fifth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts, and on her outside, the 20 of Adam B5000. Starting seventh will be the three of Geek Girl Games, and on her outside, the 211 of Hogs. Starting ninth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So Kager Racing starting ninth and 10th here today. Uh, we got a couple of ABR drivers on the front row, and one in the second. And so we're going to see what ABR has today for this Kentucky Speedway. Uh, the 96 of Nico earning a, I don't know if this is his first pole of the year, but... He definitely needed those five bonus points as he's currently running 17th in points. Uh, his teammate, the uh, 29 of Wishbone Attack, starting on his outside. And the double zero of Mudbone starting right behind him. As that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car ducks off, we see Nico leading us down to take this green flag almost to uh, the start zone. And the flag is out, and we are underway. We see a three-wide battle right there with, well, we saw a three-wide battle with the 29, the 20, and multiple other cars as the double zero of Mudbone get a little bit of a tap from that 420 of Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts is shoving that Red Bull Toyota for Aces to Zed Motorsports down underneath. She's going to lose a little bit of time off of four as your leader on lap number one will be the 96 of Nico. So he is going to get his five bonus points there for leading a lap. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Wait, we have a yellow flag already, folks. Yellow flag already. We're going to get this race back to the caution here as we got a yellow flag on the track. Again, uh, top 10 on the left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. We do see multiple skid marks right there. So not sure who brought that out as of yet. But it could be, it could be, I mean, we don't know. So we're going to see as they catch up to the pace car here and see what everybody does as we head down towards pit road. See if anybody elects to come into the pits after just a couple laps or if everybody's going to stay out. What the deal is here. Looks like the 96 is staying out. And... We got a couple cars in the pits. Looks like one of them might be the 25 at JTM. So everybody's staying out. Let's uh, see what brought out that caution. Well, this caution is going to be brought out by contact between the 25. Well, contact with the 25 by the 356 of ice cream someday. So let's watch this happen. Looks like the 10 of score is stuck in the wall there. We'll get a view from his car. 
From the roof cam on the tin of Scooter. So it looks like as a part of that accident, we are going to see the 666, the 25, the 356, and the 10 all out of this race. So JTM, Ice Cream, Scooter, and Pistol Pete all out of this race early as a result of that caution. Um, surprised they're not doing a lot of repairs, and they might be doing a lot of repairs on that fence right now as Scooter's car just dug into the fence and... Uh, you know, that was that was a rough go there for him. Hopefully he is okay. We will check in on your top 10 here real fast. Your leader is the 96 of Nico. Second place will be the double zero of Mudbone. Third will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Fourth will be the 51 of AJM. Fifth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Sixth will be the 211 of Hogs. Seventh will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Eighth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 34 of Super Snake. So KFB, having started ninth, has fallen all the way back to 17th right now. Your points leader, the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum, currently runs in the 12th. It's no weird to say that the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum is your points leader, but he is. Hopefully we're getting the one lap to go here as we're working lap number five. Other notables uh, in the top 10, the 20 of Adam B5000. Again, he's running in the seventh position. Third place in points, the 11 of TC Roberts runs 15th right now. Vet, who runs fourth in points, is currently in ninth. Pace, lights are out on that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. Uh, Mike Check, who runs fifth in points, currently resides in the 26th position. Mudbone, who is sixth in points, runs second. Jetman, who is 7th in points, currently runs in the 14th position. Resemble, who is 8th in points, currently runs in the 29th position. G3, who is 9th in points, currently runs 8th on the track. And the 95 is Zed Brenna, who is 10th in points, currently running 11th on track. Let's look at where your current top 10 in points are running. Again, uh, we should see um, uh, double file up here in just a moment. There you see that double file as they go into three with the 96 of Nico leading the way here. He's going to be down to the bottom. Uh, that double zero of Mudbone is going to give him a go. He's going to try to get the jump here. I mean, he's got to wait on the 96 to go, but he could potentially get the lead from the 96 here on this restart. As we head down towards the green flag, waiting on the, the starter to put the green flag out. And we are back underway here at Kentucky. Good jump by the double zero of Mudbone. He might be able to put that 96 back to second or third or even farther back. As we see the 420 at Queen of Hearts basically pushing the 96 of Nico down to the front right now. Looks like the 51 of AJM trying to drop down to the bottom. Double wide, too wide for second position as the 96 of Nico running a little high here. We're going to see if that high line pays off for the 96 as it is double file for second position as the double zero of Mudbone to the outside of the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Mudbone is right there in front of the 211 of Hogs as we do see Mudbone take back over that second position. So Mudbone is actually going to get credited for leading a lap as he crossed the line just a smidgen before the 96 of Nico on that restart. But Nico has just about a half a car length or a car length lead right now on that double zero of Mudbone. We'll see what everybody's tires do as this race wears on. As the 51 of AJM to the outside of the three of Geek Girl Games. G3 probably trying to drop it down to the inside. Drop it low. As we see the 34 of Super Snake right to her back bumper. Almost a catastrophe right there. As we see the 29 battling it out with the 49. As Oh, the 29 of Wishbone Attack getting bumped and sliding low right there. 
So he is down to the bottom of the track. He's going to lose a bunch of positions. I think we saw him get a little bit of a tap from possibly the triple seven of Seabass. As your leader on the track, still that 96 of Nico. So Nick is trying his darndest here today to make up a bunch of points in the point standings. I mean, the double zero Mudbone, I mean, he is definitely looking for a win number two this season uh, here in the More Freedom Series. Won that inaugural, no, first race of the season at Daytona this year. And he is definitely looking for another win to get another win under his belt. At 211 of Hog, he is rookie driver for Douche Motorsports. He's actually looking for his first win. He was up in the top of the standings for a while, and I don't think he's won a race. He may have. I'm not sure. Uh, he was looking for her. He's, he was up in the top standings. I believe he was actually leading the points at one stage at the very beginning of the season. Falling back to 29th in points over the second half of the first half of the year. Keep dropping back through this field. See what's going on as it's kind of just single file right now until we get back to... The 29 and the 777 and the 203 of Signs. Saw Signs finish third last week at Indianapolis. Almost had second place. I think if he had one more lap, he may have uh, got around that 660 of Garrett Miller. Again, the high line here at Kentucky is the preferred line. So you see those drivers going around on the outside because that is the preferred line here at Kentucky. You're going to basically have to line up a bunch of cars to try to get around the person in front of you on the low line. But once one person goes down to the low line, the others try to take advantage and slide up high to the high line, get around the person in front of them as we see the 420 at Queen of Hearts dropping to the bottom. We'll jump back to the front of the back of the field, see what's going on back here. As we see, it's three wide right now between the 329, the 88, and the 95 of Zed Brunna. So NM has also steadily fallen back the last few races. He, again, points leader for several races in a row, uh, has fallen back to the 11th position now. Currently running way back in the back of the pack. Currently 26th right now. Only saving grace for the 88 right now is that he won't finish last today as that honor is going to go to the 10 of Scooter as we see the 799 of Mike check to the outside of his teammate. The 300 of Resemble. Resemble pulling back in line in front of the 777 of Seabass. Seabass with a little bit of a bump by the 13 of King of the Aces pushes him to the high line. So Coda with a little bit of bump on that 777 of Seabass. Coda falls back into the clutches of the 203 of Signs, who is going around him on the outside right now. We'll see if the 29 of Wishbone Attack goes with Signs or not. Up at the front of the field, timing and scoring says everything's still pretty much the same as we do see the 29. He slowed down. He might not have a good car in the high line here today as he did slow down quite a bit uh, going into three and four there as we do see the 96 of Nico and the double zero of Mudbone still leading the field here. Nico has led the first, pretty much all the laps, 16 of of the first seven of the first 18 laps. With again Mudbone leading, sneaking and sneakily sneaking across the start finish line there after that restart for the caution to get that lap led. I think we're probably about ready to start seeing pit stops here today it's going to be a two pit stop affair i do believe so they're going to be stopping around lap maybe a little bit farther than lap 19 um could be 19 could be 20 we're going to see as we are working lap number 19 right now so with that caution that's going to give them a little oh we see g3 ducking in right there that caution may have helped some of these drivers on their fuel mileage because we were just cruising around the track. So it's still going to be a two pit stop affair unless we have knock on wood cautions later on and they decide to pit. But 
as of right now, it is just two pit stops. As we're working lap number 20, we do see the double zero of Mudbone duck in. And the 96 of Nico staying out. I know it's going to be it's going to be a four tire pit stop for all these drivers here today. You know, maximize your it's it's a warm here today. You know, it's 80 degrees, it's sunny. So, you know, track temperatures are probably in the triple digits. So, maximize the grip that you got on the track with four tires as we do here a little of that. Yeah, I thought I heard the 96 slowing down. He's into the pits. The double, the 211 of Hog, late on the brakes, catches up to the back of the 96. We'll watch as they're going down pit road here. A little bit of smoke coming out there. All the way down this long pitch, pit road here at Kentucky, we saw the 96 slow down a hair for the 300 of Resemble. That's a good, good deal for that 96. I mean, not a great deal because... People can, uh, you know, he might, other people might have a better pit stop because of it, but, you know, not getting into that damage by hitting the 300 right there. So left side, right, right side tires on the 96, left side tires going on. This is going to be close off a of pit road. Fuel going into that 96. He's all gassed up. He is down and he is away. The 211, a hog is very close to him. So hog had a great, pit stop there but again that 300 of resemble pulled out in front as it looks like your leader after the pit stops is most likely going to be the double zero of mudbone so mudbone looking to take over the lead here after uh i wouldn't say it was an extremely slow pit stop but again all that traffic on pit road did make the 96 slow down just a hair as we do see the double zero of Mudbone take over the lead from the 96 of Nico. And so just as a note, now Nico led every single lap because he was last group to pit. So Mudbone takes back over the lead. Let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is that double zero of Mudbone for Amish Buggy Racing. Second's going to be the three of Geek Girl Games. Third will be the... 49 of Jetman. Fourth will be the 23 of Fuller than you. So Fuller moving up to uh, the fourth position after starting 20th here today. Fifth will be the 34 of Super Snake, who started in the 12th position. Sixth is the 96 of Nico. So Nico, uh, kind of a heartbreak right now. Falling back to sixth after that pit stop. Seventh will be the 211 of Hog. Eighth. Three the 51 of AJM. Ninth will be the 999 of Deviant. So Deviant, again, story of the year right now is this comeback drive by the 999 of Deviant, who started four races down this season, has now worked himself into the 30th in points, and is currently running. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Deviant is a lap down. That is my bad. Deviant's a lap down. So, no more comeback story. Sorry, Deviant. Uh, but, I mean, it is still a good story. So, actual ninth place will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And running out the top 10 will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. So, not sure what happened to Deviant. He lost some spots there. As we see, that double zero of Mudbone has just pulled away from... Everybody currently up by about half a second on the three of Geek Girl Games and the 49 of Jetman. We'll go up toward, through the back of the field, see what's going on back there as we see the 29 of Wishbone Attack who started outside pull here today. You saw the issues that he has in the turn, so Wishbone Attack has definitely got some setup issues here today at Kentucky and has fallen all the way back to the 27th position here. There's your points leader. If we can catch up to him without seeing the pace car. Uh, there's your points leader, the 544, Frederick Winkelbaum, who currently runs 26th right now. His closest competitor in points, the 20 of Adam B5000, runs in the 12th position. So if the race ended right now, that 20 of Adam B5000 theoretically could take over the points because he was only two behind Frederick. 
As we see again, that triple seven of Seabass has fallen back here. He is currently running in the 21st position. He started 22nd, currently running 21st, right there with a, almost a three wide sandwich with the 72 of Duchess and the 329 of Heck of a Duber. As we saw, the triple seven of Seabass was, was up into almost the top 10 for a while. But after those pit stops, just falling back a little bit as we see the 799 of Mike Check trying to get around down to the inside of that 07 to Douche Baggins. A little bit of help right there by the 13 of King of the Aces. So King right to his back bumper trying to push him through the turn in front. As you can see, like, that's what I'm talking about. If you can get a couple people lined up behind you in the draft, there is that possibility that you can make that low line pass as we're seeing right now with the 799. But you see the 13 of King of the Aces jump to the high side above Mike Check. And that's definitely not going to help Mike's uh, ability to run to get around that 07 of Douche Baggins. So it's a battle on the track right there for the 13th and the 14th position. As we see, Mike is definitely, he's got a good car. He just needs somebody to go with him here. As it looks like KFB is making it three wide with him in the 13 at King of the Aces. We'll check in up at your front of your, in just a moment as we see the 799. Uh, we see that 13 at King of the Aces running around the outside of the 07 right now. And the 11 of T.C. Roberts on the outside. Thought DB had an issue right there for a second as Mike Check on his outside. I would not say it's time for pit stops as we do see the 799 of Mike Check does make that pass on the outside of the 07 of Douche Baggins as the 8 of Moon Bunny trying to work to the outside of the, seven, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. as Hogs working down to the inside of the 96 of Nico, as well as the 49 of Jetman to the inside of the three of Geek Girl Games. So G3 with a little bit of a contention by the 49 of, Jet, of Jetman down into one and two. Again, the, the, the high line in one and two is definitely faster than the low line. Uh, the, high li the low line through three and four is almost a little bit faster than the high line. They can get that run up off of four as Mudbone has made his like 1.7 seconds separates Mudbone and G3 right now. As we see the 96 of Nico working to the inside of the 23 of Fuller than you. So Nico is trying his darndest right now to work back up to the front of this field as he is down to the inside of the 23 of Florida than you. He is, looks like he will take away that position from the 23. So you can see that if they can stack up some people on the bottom of the track, they're gonna be able to make passes, but it's gonna take them stacking up three, two, three, four cars at the bottom to get that draft and push that car around the uh, person in front of them. As we see the 96 just right there to the back bumper, the three of Geek Girl Games. He pushes that Marlboro Dodge for NBR hard down into the turn. Jetman with a great run through the tri-oval. Nico down to the bottom still. Jetman is literally pushing the three of Geek Girl Games right now, but Nico, who may have just been tire saving for a little bit there in that run, is down to the inside of the three of Geek Girl Games. He can push it hard into that turn. Let it slide up off the turn here. And he's going to take over the second position from the three of Geek Girl Games. So an amazing run. Last few laps by the 96 of Nico. Puts his car into the second position. And that's a possibility that the three's tires are going away here. So... We'll keep an eye on that as we see the 49 still <laughs> trying his darndest to get around her. 
Haven't checked in on your leader in a while, in a hot minute. But there's your leader, the double zero of Mudbone, who just keeps cranking off laps. And up to about 19 laps led, he's uh, almost caught. Oh, we do have a yellow flag, folks. We've got a yellow flag on the track, so that's going to bunch everybody up. And I think we got a one-stop shot to the end of this race. So we should see the double zero, the 96, and everybody jump into the pits here. We do see some uh, tire smoke up there next to the wall. So we're going to watch them come down pit road here. So this is it, folks. This is the final pit stop. This is your chance to get in there, get out, get your tires, get all that stuff going. Uh, get the best stop you, stop you can as we do see some, I do see some damage on the 20 of Adam B5000. So not good for the second place car in the points as we see the 96 of Nico and the double zero of Mudbone are going to have, ooh, Mudbone with some, uh, some gamemanship right there. If you saw it, he absolutely slammed on the brakes. I'm not sure what the 96 just did. It looks like he may have just taken fuel. That might have been a fuel only stop for the 96 of Nico. Uh, that's going to be a very, pardon my French, a very ballsy move by the 96. As it looks like it was four tires for the double zero mud bone. And uh, lots of cars, I think, just took fuel here today. So this could be an interesting end to, the, to this race. Did the 96 get enough fuel in there? Is he going to have enough to go to the finish? We're going to find out. But let's go check out and see what brought out that caution. Well, this caution is going to be brought out by contact between the 20 of Adam B5000 and the 999 of Deviant. Let's see this happen. You can see the 20 of Adam B5000 does get into that 999, and that's going to put them both out of the race here today. So while we were away checking on that replay, um, very interesting thing happened. The 96 of Nico came into the pits and pitted and is now way back in, like, I'm not sure where, but... Very interesting strategy. I don't even know that that was a strategy, folks, because he didn't lead a lap, so he didn't get the. He's going to have. He's going to be tied for the most laps led with the double zero of Mudbone, but he came in and pitted and took on four tires. So I'm not sure what the thinking was by the that NBR crew, and maybe they didn't expect him to come in. I don't. I don't know what happened, but he came in. He came into his pits, and you saw it. He came into his pits took like no gas and then went out and that was it so not sure what happened with the 96 and his pit crew but he definitely had an issue with his pit stop and his pit crew so i i would guess that you're going to see some changes at nbr after that because there that kind of pit stop is unacceptable maybe they just didn't have the tires on the wall and you know knowing knowing nick he came into the pits and they were like oh no we forgot the tires and he just went you know and had no gas in it and then they had to come back in so that's a tough break for the 96 of nico but a good break for the three of geek girl games and she's going to be leading us back to the green flag here with the 49 of Jetman on her outside 23 of fuller than you right behind her Let's go through your top five real fast. Your leader is the three of Geek Girl Games. Second's going to be the 49 of Jetman. Third will be the 23 of four of the new. Fourth will be the 211 of Hog. And rounding out the top five is going to be the 34 of Super Snake. So bringing us down to the green flag, hopefully for the last time here today at Kentucky is going to be the three of Geek Girl Games. And we are back underway here at Kentucky. Looks like the 49 of Jetman is going to get a heck of a jump on the three of Geek Girl Gains down into turn one. That outside line so close. 
So the 49er Jetman hammers down that gas, able to get out in front of the three of Geek Girl Games. We got massive battles going on in the back of the pack as we see the 329 of Heck of a Duber who was running way back for the basically the entirety of this race has now worked himself up into the top 10 after those pit stops. The 23 of Fuller than you down to the inside of the three of Geek Girl Games. So G3 trying to defend second position right now from the 23 of Fuller than you. That's going to allow the 49 of Jetman, who is your leader with about nine laps to go, to try to make, a, make his run and win this race. So we shouldn't see any more pit stops here today at Kentucky as we do see the 777 of Seabass with his pit stops works himself into the top 10. And again, we saw him. He was way back in the pack. So good stops by a lot of these teams or just no tires and two tires and fuel. Again, that's going to be heartbreak for... That 96 of Nico as he had led so many laps here today. The double zero of Mudbone has currently fallen back to the 11th position. As we see the 49 of Jetman has just powered that M&M Dodge for MBR out to the front around the outside of the three of Geek Girl Games. Has currently kept about two tenths of a second right now, about three, two or three car lengths between himself and G3. And I'm not sure what Fuller has for any either of these two top, the top two cars, as we'll keep an eye on that. As we do see the 799 of Mike Check working around. He, I think he worked around the outside of the uh, 777 of Seabass, and here comes the 71 of Kung Fu Beer as well. So KFB to the outside of that 777 of Seabass. Battle on the track for the 11th position. Keeping an eye on those leaders as the 203 assigns now to the outside of the 777 of Seabass. Jump up through the field. Catch up with your, oh, that's a pace car. Catch up with your leader, the 49 of Jetman. About five laps to go, fastest lap of the race will be by the 49 of Jetman at 194.899 miles per hour, 27.718 seconds as we see the 23 of Florida than you desperately trying to get around the number three of Geek Girl Games. Let's check in on the back of the pack. You can see the 96 of Nico right there. He's actually right behind the 40 of Veteran Chaos and the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. So Nico's trying, um, that setup must have went away on the 96 right here after this pit stop. He's not able to make up any time on any of these cars in front of him. He's, I think he might be making up a little bit right here on the 40. He's going to try to make up some on the 544 as well as he's working to the high side of the track. But the story on the track for the rest of the field is the 49 of Jetman who is trying to piece together a win here in the More Freedom Series as we see... A bunch of cars dropping into the pits. So those cars that may have only taken fuel, may have only taken fuel here today, didn't put in enough to make it to the end, and we do see them coming in and doing pit stops. So with two laps to go here in the More Freedom Series, Kentucky 80, Jetman is staying out. And I believe the next lap we will see the white flag. Question is, is Jetman going to make it to the finish here? Is he going to go into the pits? Is he going to have enough to make it to the finish of this race? Are they going to gamble? They're gambling. They're going all the way. White flag is out. One more lap to go for the 49 of Jetman. Down into one and two goes that 49 of Jetman. Did they put enough fuel in? Is he going to make it to the end of this race? It's questionable right now as he powers that Dodge down the back stretch. He's got a, about a second lead right now on the 34 of Super Snake as he works through three and four. 
out of four for the final time coming down to take the checkered flag here at Kentucky is the 49 er Jetman. So Jetman and MBR stitched together a good pit stop there, right there on that last stop, able to get him out, get enough fuel on that car, and put him out there enough to get this win. Let's go through your finishing top 10. Your winner again is the 49 of Jetman. Second will be the 34 of Super Snake. Third will be the 211 of Hog. Fourth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Fifth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Sixth will be the 203 of Signs. Seventh will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Eighth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Ninth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 11, the 11 of TC Roberts. Uh, Nico ends up finishing 15th here today after that his pit stop. So he didn't he didn't finish all the way down. But um, yeah, next week we go to a sort of similar track. We go to Michigan for the Michigan 80. So that should be another exciting race here in the More Freedom Series. Let's t check in on your current points. And see who is leading those as Frederick ends up finishing 14th here today. And the 20 of Adam B5000 was knocked out of the race. So you'll be seeing who is leading your current points. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings as well as good day for MBR as they come in with the win. Uh, another at least two people in the top 10. So we'll see who is leading your team and chassis standings. Well, that's going to do it today for the More Freedom Series here at the Kentucky 80. Uh, great win by the 49 of Jetman. Fantastic last pit stop, able to get enough fuel in the car. That's a tough break for the 96 of Nico. I'm sure they are going to be having lots of discussions in the 96 camp and the MBR stables about what happened and how to not have that happen again. So... But hey, congratulations to the 49 of Jetman. He's your winner here today at Kentucky. And until next week at Michigan, take care.